guys so today we're gonna be doing something that's a little different don't normally do this just because I don't normally spend this much money on a specific thing but today we're gonna review the Pat McGrath labs dark star mascara so if you're interested in seeing how this looks on my eyes and um, you know seeing what I think about it then let's go ahead and get into the video um, so I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really do appreciate it and I hope you stay and for all of my returning subscribers and viewers, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me and I hope you stick around to the end of the video. Um, but if not, totally understand, but I just want to say thank you for your time and um, let's just go ahead and start talking about this mascara. So for this mascara, it is retailing for like it's $30. It's pretty expensive. I normally just do drugstore mascara. This is honestly the first time I've ever owned like a designer mascara and I've heard good views on things and I've heard bad reviews on just designer mascaras in general whether or not they're actually worth the price but I've been watching some videos on this mascara and one of my favorite YouTubers, my dear friend Glam Girl Chelsea on here has done a review on this and she does many reviews with like more high-end expensive makeup and I just love watching her reviews on them so check her out I'm gonna put her in the links down below in the description box um, and we're gonna go ahead and give this a try packaging of course is absolutely stunning um, and it says that this is supposed to give you instant volume stretch effect length anti-gravity lift so I'm just interpreting that as volumizing with some length and it doesn't weigh your eyes down. I don't have it on right now, this is just the makeup look I've been wearing today going to the mall and stuff because um, your girl finally got cute. Like look, who am I? Who do I think I am? I'm going to go ahead and just take off my makeup. Um, I've only got it up to here. So I'll just take off my eye makeup and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I have um, just a clean canvas here. I thought I would give you guys like a little close-up of this because like I feel like it deserves a little bit of a close-up. And also because like I don't buy stuff like this very often. So like I'm gonna just take it in because like not gonna lie, getting this mascara is making me feel a little bougie. Just a little bit. So here's the package. The little emblem she has and then this is like the it's upside down Vivian Wow okay this part here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in y'all get a good look at my little stubbers oh yeah buddy we're getting up close and personal so as you can see I hope you can see I'll look up these are my little stubbers they're they're not the best and they're not the worst and this is what my eye looks like with just some mascara anyway. As a reference, this um, is the Maybelline Curvitude. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude I have on this eye. I'm kind of curious to see how this looks with this eye. Not saying that I think they're dupes or anything. I'm just curious. I don't know. It's actually pretty big. Like, it, like this is the Thrive Cosmetics. And... I mean, I know I have it screwed. It's a pretty big mascara, actually. Like, I'm shocked how long it is. Um, and this carries 0.43 fluid ounces. And this Thrive Cosmetics one is 0.38. Another example is the Better Than Sex mascara co carries 0.27. The ColourPop BFF mascara carries 0.24. And this Maybelline one carries 0.33. It's interesting never looked at that before but it seems like you get a lot of product in this thing which is great for how much it costs I'm gonna try doing one coat and then we'll go in with a second Ooh, I like the consistency so here's the wand Ooh. oh my god huh Holy shit. Holy shit. Do you guys see that? Wow. Okay. Oh 
I feel like my lashes look really long. And like they don't look clumpy. That's what I like. Wow. What? So this feels like it's more of a wet kind of consistency. I know some people like a dry consistency, but I like a good in-betweener. Yeah, the brush the bristles are pretty impressive. They like I can feel it like combing. Combing my like lash. Wow. Okay. So normally I would do a second coat, but I don't like to fully let my uh, lash, like the first coat, dry. Um, all the way. Wow, this is pretty. Do you see this? This time I'm going to wiggle it. Oh my gosh, that does a big difference to coats. Look at that. Wow. Holy shit. Y'all, I'm not faking this. Like. Oh, wow. Dude. What? Dude, what? Dude, my lashes have never looked like this. Like, never. I'm, I'm, I, I am amazed right now. Like, I loved one coat, but dang, if you want some freaking volume. Wow. Holy cow, it looks like I have a million lashes. put it on my lower lashes. I have really long lower lashes, so... Okay, a little clumpy there. Dude. Uh, dude. Uh, bruh. Like, dude, I'm seriously in awe right now. Like, I'm- okay, I know- like, listen. I know that whenever you get your mascara, the first, like, it, it, it performs amazing the first time you use it. Like, when you open a brand new thing of mascara. Like, I've heard that, you know, that's what you do, like, for special events. If you want your eyes to look really good with a brand new mascara. But, listen, I've not had my eye look like that before. Holy crap. Like, look how long they are. You saw how they looked before. This is insane. And... <laughs> what? Okay, like, I mean, I was hoping for it being $30 that it would, like, do something good. But, like... I mean, I didn't know what to expect with this mascara. Like, how it looked on me. But, like, wow. Okay, listen. Listen, Linda. Listen. I watched reviews of people who tried this mascara. And... People like Allie Glines and stuff like that already have really long lashes. They already have really nice natural lashes. So I don't fully listen to their review because they don't have lashes like me. For me to have watched people's reviews on them who didn't really have the same eyelash as me and I saw how it made their eyelashes look really, really long and nice, um, I just chalked it up to their natural lash. Now this definitely feels light, like the, it doesn't feel heavy on my eye. Um, the only thing I worry about when it comes to lighter mascaras is how, um, flaky they may be. I put a little eyeshadow on. Sometimes I feel like since one eye is technically done and then the other eye is just blank, sometimes it kind of like construes with the way it looks but this is what it looks like by itself on the eye why do I have a hair that I can't get rid of 
Will you go? I don't know if I'm being helpful, but like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, this is the drugstore mascara, right? When I go to feel my lashes, you know, it feels a little stiff, like a little hard, you know what I mean? And then I feel this one, and they feel so light, like they feel so fluffy and like, like there's barely anything there. So see how on this side, it looks way more wispier than this side? Um, not trying to make this a thing, like, is expensive better, but I'm just using it as a comparison as this is what I normally wear for mascara. This is what I've worn for, like, the past two months versus the way that this one looks. So, one thing I've noticed is it looks way more fluffy and separated, and I look like I have multiple layers of lashes versus this one where all of them are kind of uniform and they are a little stuck together as you can see and it's definitely firmer like if it, 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 it's harder I'm trying to see what it looks like from the side here's the side eye of this mascara and then here's the side view kind of of this one I'm becoming conflicted now because like I've always just taken drugstore mascara because I'm like it doesn't matter it doesn't make a difference and now I'm like what if it does now? Like, it, it just made a difference. So. So, I don't have, like, the other fetish eyes mascara, um, to compare this to. There are plenty of videos that do compare them, and my friend Chelsea did do that in her video of reviewing this, um, mascara. So, I, again, will have it linked down below. I put a little gloss on. I feel like I'm looking like I'm missing something. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of concerned with is flaking. Um, I don't think it's going to flake on me, but I'm interested to see how that goes. One thing I'm always concerned about when it does come to uh, mascaras is uh, how, how well does it come off. Whether, it, meaning like does it kind of leave a black ring around my eye, like does it kind of almost stain my eye with the pigment. Um, you know, stuff like that because especially when I'm at work, if I'm wearing makeup on a day that I'm off and then I go to work and I'm wearing no makeup, you know, um, it's kind of hard to <laughs> do that when your mascara kind of leaves your eyes looking like you have dark circles or you can't fully get rid of it. So I can't wait to see how well this comes off and how it wears. $30 is a hefty price tag for mascara. Do I think this is something that you need to have? No, not at all. I mean, makeup in general is very, like, it's not a necessity. If you're looking for a mascara that does these things, it gives you volume, it's lightweight, and it gives you some length. If that's what you're in the market for and you don't mind spending $30, like you don't mind investing into different types of mascaras, I think this is definitely one that you should check out. I wish there was a mini size in this, but I know it's brand new, so of course there's not going to be a mini size, but maybe since, you know, fall is coming pretty freaking fast and then, you know, they hop in and go ahead and start doing the Christmas sales, they might be having deals going on with this mascara. They might come out with a mini. And so if you want to wait till then and maybe see if a mini comes out, I would do that too. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. I, I like it a lot. I really do. I think it's worth the try. Um, this is what happens every time. I love Glam Girl Chelsea and she always be trying these luxury products and now I'm like, ooh, maybe I should try some more luxury mascaras. <laughs> but then my bank account's like, no, no, we're not, that's see what we're not going to do is that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for staying and watching, especially if you made it this far. You, you a real one. Thank you. And um, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. So um, if I don't do an update in the description bo box, description bar, description box, whatever you call it, on how it was when I took it off and also whether or not there was flaking or anything else I noticed, um, then I will have that in a future video. Um, I don't want to make this like a full review because it can't be. It's a first impression. Like, how can you make that a full impression? Or a full, <laughs> full review. Full impression, full review. What's the difference? Thoroughly excited. Thoroughly happy. And now I'm just going to enjoy my Brita water in my Lilo and Stitch mug that my brother got me. Isn't it adorable? I love it.
And if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new or if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe, but only if you want to. Um, only if you want to see my videos. If you don't, it's okay. Thank you for watching this one. You know, I appreciate it very, very much. Okay, I'm, I'm really awkward when it comes to this. I don't know how people do it with their, like, endings or their beginnings where they're like, don't forget to subscribe, da, da, da. like, I don't know how to do that. I'm too awkward for that. Like, if you want to do it, do it. <laughs> but, like, I don't, I don't like to, like, I don't know. I don't know, I'm weird. It just feels weird when I say it, so I'm just gonna keep to my old... I'm just gonna keep to the normal thing I do, and I'm just gonna see you guys later, okay? Bye. <laughs>